Now, that's a pretty sweet tick over, don't you think? I like the concept of wearing in rather than wearing out. You would like to create something where the emotional relationship is more satisfying over time and that you may not worry about it or think about it very clearly and people don't sort of, you know, have a, a strong... They don't have to have a strong love relationship with their things, but they should grow sort of a little more fond of them perhaps over time. For example, on the laptop that I designed, it's actually magnesium enclosure, but it has a paint on the outside. And, uh, and when it gets stinged, you know, if it's dropped and a bit of paint chips off and you see some of the magnesium showing through, somehow it feels better because of that. Um, the computer we call the grid compass, a uh, compass computer, um, and uh, arguably the first laptop that was actually ever produced is this one. Um, and uh, you could carry it with you. And we designed it to be thin enough to fit in half your briefcase so you could put papers in as well. And then there was a leg at the back that flipped down um, to put it at the right angle for um, using at the ergonomic preferred angle of 11 degrees. And we wanted to devise a hinge that would allow it to rotate so the display could come up, but also not let anything into the uh, electronics behind. So, in order to avoid something like a pencil falling into it, let me just uh, show you what could happen. If you put a pencil on the back, it would roll down and drop inside. I designed a scoop that would then um, self-eject the pencil when you closed it. Um, there's a little trick of, of that. When I got the first working prototype, I took the machine home, you know, really thrilled about wanting to use it myself. And it was with great pride that I sort of, you know, opened up the display and thought how clever I was to have designed this latch and this hinge and all this stuff. And then I started to actually try and use it. And within a few moments, I found myself forgetting all about my physical design and realizing that everything that I was really interested in was happening in my relationship between what was happening behind the screen. I felt like I was kind of being sucked down into the machine. And the interaction between me and the device was all to do with the digital software and very little to do with the physical design. And that made me realize that if I was going to truly design the whole experience, I would really have to learn how to design this software stuff. That made me search for a name for it which we ended up calling interaction design. <laughs>